And Chevron 7 is locked. Wait, who are you? Jafar, Cree. What? Oh, oh no, I, I regret everything. Hello, my name is Shredder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Stargate Nether Portal in Minecraft. Let's get started. So at the end of my Great Pyramid tutorial, I teased this structure here. I also tease these buttons. I'm going to show you what they do today. Because we can't have a Stargate without a dial home device. So we will input our chevrons. And then lock the seventh chevron with our button here. And the nether portal activates. And of course the other button is if we want to shut down our Stargate. It turns off. And we can turn it on again. And off again. This is done by means of a little redstone that I've come up with. A very little redstone, because that's not exactly my forte. As you can tell, I'm pretty much a builder, not a redstoner, but I try to add in some things when appropriate. So let's go outside and take a look at the bill of materials you're going to need to construct this device. So in no particular order, you are going to need 593 blocks of obsidian, 263 blocks of basalt, 297 blocks of red nether brick, 70 blocks of cobble, 2 dispensers, 2 observers, 2 pistons, 5 redstone repeaters, 63 pieces of redstone dust, 2 buttons, 58 pieces of glowstone, one redstone lamp, one flint and steel, one water bucket, and one zero-point module for dialing addresses of more than seven chevrons. So with that said, let's go over here and start taking a look at the redstone. As you can tell, it's designed to fit underneath the portal, so I presume you're going to have this on a floor, but underneath your floor you need to cut out a space to build this here. And this is what the pieces of cobblestone are for to put your redstone on. And over here is where you're going to be building your dial home device. And from there you just want to start putting out your redstone lines like so. You need some repeaters along here. And over here on this side this will be the control that turns on your stargate. And over here, this is part of the control apparatus that will turn off your Stargate. So you need to set these repeaters all the way to maximum. Two of those to maximum. And this one, just click it twice. So you want to click this one three times, three times, and two times. And you want to have your redstone lines laid out exactly like so. With your pistons facing up like this. And we'll go over here to the next phase. We're going up two more blocks. And from here you want to extend up your redstone lines and put in the beginnings of the your dial home device over here. And what you want to do over here is start building the base of your Stargate. And you will need to lay it out with your observers facing downwards like so. So the redstone signal will come out up here. And you want to have that be exactly the same on both sides. An observer with a piston underneath it. Here's your redstone underneath here. And above there, your center line for your stargate is going to be here. And this design is, of course, symmetrical. So meaning that the blocks you place on this side, you need to mirror them on the other side. And you want to build out the base according to the pattern that I have shown you here. 
and you can get the distance of this. If you draw a center line around here, it should be, I think, about 13 blocks to this point over here. And, of course, this obsidian right here from here all the way over to here should be 23 blocks, which will give us a 23 block interior space for the maximum size of our portal. So if you want to, from this point, you could start over here and go straight up with obsidian, 23 blocks, and then over to make your portal. And over here on the next phase, we have our dial home device complete. We just have a little obsidian with a redstone lamp and our two buttons on either side. And as you can tell, the buttons will activate the redstone dust below the device over here, which will send the signals along here which will trigger the piston, which will trigger the observer, which will trigger these two dispensers down here that we have on either side of our portal. And inside these dispensers is going to be some flint and steel on that side. And on this side, you need to put a water bucket. Uh, bear in mind, the the side that has the redstone repeaters down here laid out like this is the one that has to have your water bucket in it. So if you want to have your flint and steel on that side and your water on this side, then you need to reverse down here below these redstone controls. So let's take a look at the portal itself now that the redstone is complete. You want to put in a bit of obsidian and a glowstone according to this pattern here. You can draw your center line over here to help you with the distances here. And you want to place in your red nether brick and your basalt and your obsidian according to the pattern that you see done here. And you want to repeat the same exact pattern on the back and on the other side as well you will want to repeat the same pattern. So when I show you a pattern over here, you need to repeat it over here and over there again. So that'll be four times for that. So if we go over here, we're going up two more blocks, and you're pretty much just building this section here with a bit of obsidian and glowstone and basalt and red nether brick, like you see done here. All right, going up two blocks, we have a bit more detail here. As you can see, we're starting to build out the first uh, chevron control around here. There's another one over there. And the side along here. And the top along here. Now, make sure when you're doing this, that from this point, you leave this space in here hollow because, as you can guess, this is the secret to having a circular nether portal when we can only build square ones, because what we are doing is building a frame around a square nether portal. But, since we have edged it out with obsidian along here, it gives the illusion that it is circular. So that is how we're kind of feeding with this. So here is the next phase, two more blocks. Build the pattern that you see here, just very simple to do, on both sides, around the side here, and round here also. Nope, oh, two more blocks. All you basically do during this phase is very simple. You just extend up everything you built in the previous phase. So we can skip over that one quite quickly. Now over here, we extend up the blocks again, except we put a little obsidian out here, and you will notice that what you are going to be doing on this phase is starting to mirror what we did below. So with that done, let's move up over here. Putting in some obsidian and glowstone. Round the edges here. 
You know, we have two more blocks. We have that complete, so you want to build this right here. Around the side here. We're getting to the point where we're starting to leave another gap in between the frame. Going up two more blocks, extending everything up and bending it in slightly. Again, two more blocks, getting very close to finishing the portal now. And along the interior here. And along the side over here. So, two more blocks. We're starting to connect everything in the middle here. You're pretty much doing that with a straight a band of obsidian and a little bit of glowstone. Along the side here. And over here again. Going up two more blocks, we're almost done. Extend everything up according to the pattern that you see on the screen. On the side here. And after that, the last phase over here, you just cap everything off with the pattern that you see here. And over the top. And in the middle down here. So with that done, your Stargate should be complete and work. And as a little addenda to the tutorial, I have recolored some of the materials in case you want to use your own material design. Here's a prismarine variant. One done with little lapis and sea lanterns. Over here we have a, a blackstone and basalt one done with magma blocks. It looks pretty ominous if I do say so. Over here we have one if you want to build something that will match the pyramid design if you've chosen to build that. And over here at the end I experimented with making one entirely out of glass. But since you can see the square portal frame in it, it kind of ruins the effect. But it does still work. We can test it out here. We can turn it on and turn it off. So I hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial for the Stargate themed nether portal. If you so choose to build the pyramid here, it would look pretty good in the uh, main barrel chamber. It would also look pretty good as a nether hub. But of course that is entirely up to you. And as you can see, I've hooked up my zero-point module to the dial hum device, so it's time for me to go back to Atlantis. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.